There is a new name for a familiar movie and TV rental service that you might be familiar with or might not be familiar with. So today we're going to be taking a look at what the new name is and what it has to offer. Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at Voodoo. As you can see it has a new name for the streaming service. It was named Voodoo for a long, long time. And when I mean a long time, I mean 20 years, a long time. Until NBC Universal, I believe, or Comcast bought Voodoo. And they had their own mental service as well called Fandango Now. So when they bought Voodoo, they had two rental services for movies and TV. And then they decided to morph Fandango now into Voodoo. And now after 20 years, Voodoo is gone. And now the new name, as you can see, is Fandango at home. Now, I'll leave it up to you in the comments what you think of the new name. But we're going to be taking a look at it and see what it looks like quickly and as you launch into the app it has a new animation a subtle animation just a shine of the fandango at home logo but when you launch into the app it looks the same if you've been a long time voodoo customer this user interface is going to look familiar to you but if you haven't used Voodoo at all, and this is your first time using it now that it's called Fandango at home, this is what the interface looks like. As you can see, it has this Netflix-like interface where the trailer pops up on the screen for a movie or TV show, promoting it. And uh, as you can see, as you scroll down, you have these four sections. I think one of them, as you can see, rotates from movies to awards watch. You have deals, TV, and free. And you can scroll through the feats of carousel. And you can go down and take a look at one of the four selections. Or you can come down and take a look at the Fandango at Home section. So you can see it's the new name for Voodoo. Voodoo is gone. Well, about to be fully gone as you can tell from the home screen icon it still has a little bit of a remnant of the voodoo name but <clears throat> you as you can come down you can take a look at all of these selections of movies and tv shows that you can buy and or own now voodoo like i said they've been in this business for a long time when it comes to videos and tv rentals and buy and own stuff like that and in the past couple of years too, Voodoo has been doing ads, free movies and TV shows with ads, just like Pluto TV and all these other streaming services, free streaming services, Net, um, Tubi and all that. But yeah, you have a browse spotlight section so you can take a look at stuff that you can check out that's on sale. 90s, $5 movies, Watson stuff for $3, so deals and other things like that here. So this is what the user interface looks like. You have a My Library section, My Office section. My Libraries, you can take a look at stuff that you didn't finish watch and stuff that you can put on your wish list and you have a movies section here so you can take a look at all of the movies that you can watch for free buy to own and or rent same thing for tvs here you can take a look at that stuff here and down here you have a free section take a look at what you can watch for free on fandango at home now of course, you can call it Voodoo if you want to, or Fandango if you want to. I mean, you're at home, call things whatever you want to call them. Especially if you're not a fan of the new name, Fandango at home. Now, as you can see here on the website, 
Fandango made the announcement a couple of weeks ago, February 15th, almost a month ago, that this was going to happen. They were going to change the name from Voodoo to Fandango at home, as you can see here in the statement. It gives you all of the information you need to know. And what they basically said to sum up is that even though the name is going to change, everything is going to remain the same with regards to letting you buy movies and TVs or rent it and all of that. And if you already been a subscriber to content on Vudu, your stuff that you own is going to remain the same. It's not going to go anywhere. The account's going to remain the same. Everything's going to remain the same. It's just that the only thing's changing is basically the name. So, you know, if you've been an avid user of Fandango, Voodoo, and you're now seeing, oh my goodness, Fandango is the new name for Voodoo. What's happening to my content? Don't worry about it. Fandango at home is Voodoo with regards to the account, the user interface, everything about it is the same. And if you have any concerns about it, Fandango published a page for general questions about the name chains and frequent questions, including what happened to Voodoo, how can I get support, does it impact the way I use Voodoo and all that. And it gives you all these frequent we asked questions that you might be one of those folks asking and it gives you the answers that you need to know. Basically, everything is the same with Voodoo except for the name. So if you're an avid Voodoo user, just keep in the back of their mind. The new name for it is Fandango at home. Except for this, can Fandango tech kick in gift cards be used on Fandango at home? No. That's what it says with that page. You can't use Fandango tech in gift cards. But there are working on ways to connect Fandango and Fandango at home in the future. So just keep that noted. But other than that, basically everything is the same. Your library is going to be the same. Your account is going to be the same as you even, even see here with the answers here. Everything is the same. Almost everything is the same except for the name. Fandango at home is the new name for Voodoo. And keep this in mind, by the way, in the past, I think maybe two, three years ago, Voodoo stopped offering their movies and TV stuff on the Roku thing. They used to have a built-in section menu on the Roku on screen where you can rent Fandango movies and TV right from the Roku user interface. But they got rid of that a few years ago. And now in place of that is the Roku store where they changed the Roku channel store into a Roku store. So not only you can get all of your apps and games, but you can also get your movies and TV and navigate the, and search through it to find your movie and TV show on the Roku interface and offer the content from Fandango at home, plus other streaming services and rental stores like Prime Video, Peacock, and more. So just keep all of that noted. But once again, Voodoo is out of the building. And in place of that, the name of it is now Fandango at Home. Other than that, everything as you would typically expect is exactly the same. Your account is the same. Your library is the same as it used to be when you used to use it as Voodoo. It's just that the name of it is the only thing that's changed. Voodoo is now Fandango at home. That's it for this edition of Roku and now. Hopefully you got the most out of your Roku experience for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.